Hey there, I'm Tim Sander, a program manager on the Azure Cosmos DB engineering team. Today, I'm going to talk about best practices for indexing an Azure Cosmos DB's API for MongoDB. The first type of index that we'll talk about is a single field index. Single field indexes support efficient equality and range comparisons for a single property. Like MongoDB, Azure Cosmos DB also supports compound indexes. However, unlike MongoDB, compound indexes in Cosmos DB are only used for queries that sort by multiple properties. Therefore, if you have a query that filters on multiple properties but doesn't sort by them, you should create multiple single field indexes instead of one single compound index. With wildcard indexes, you can easily index many fields at once, even if you're unable to enumerate each of them. Unlike in MongoDB, in Cosmos DB, there's no limit to the number of fields that wildcard indexes can support in query predicates. Therefore, you will observe similar performance if you were to create, let's say, 10 single field indexes for a query, uh, than if you were to, let's say, index the same properties with one single wildcard index. Therefore, wildcard index are strongly recommended when you're starting out with development on Cosmos DB and you're not sure which properties to index. Now, let's take a look at how to add some sample indexes to a Cosmos DB account. Here I've created a Cosmos DB account that uses Azure Cosmos DB's API for MongoDB. And I created a collection within it that has a bunch of sample data here and sam uh, sample uh, documents. I'll go to the settings section and then navigate over to the indexing policy editor. In the indexing policy editor, you can go and add and remove indexes. Since I'm just starting out with Cosmos DB, the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add on a wildcard index using this syntax here. Now, by creating a wildcard index, I'm going to effectively index every single field in my documents. This is really great when you're getting started because it means that all queries are going to be run pretty efficiently. Now, the downside of wildcard indexes is write performance. While they're really great for query performance, they're not so good for writes because you're going to be indexing a lot of unnecessary fields, which can increase the write charges for documents. Since I want to create this wildcard index, I'll go ahead and save it to apply that change. And now the wildcard index has been created. To check index progress, I can go ahead and refresh this section here. Now, until this current index transformation is complete, I can't apply any more indexing changes. So to speed up this index transformation, I'm going to use a cool trick and go over to the scale section and increase my throughput from 400 RUs up to 8,000 RUs. Now, by increasing the throughput, I'm able to speed up my indexing transformation because there's more resources allocated to the index transformation. This is a really nice thing to do. If you're doing an index transformation on a large collection, you can always increase the amount of throughput to speed up the change. Now, since it's been a little while, I'll go ahead and refresh to see if this indexing transformation has completed. Awesome. It looks like we've added on the wildcard index. And now if I were to query and filter on really any property in the collection, it's going to be automatically indexed. Now it's really important to note here that the performance of adding a wildcard index is equivalent to if I were to go on and add on a single field index for every single, every single property. The downside, like I mentioned, of wildcard index is write performance. If you have a write heavy workload, wildcard indexes can increase the amount of RUs it costs to write a document. So let's imagine I created a wildcard index since I was getting started with Cosmos DB, but after using it for a few months, I have a better sense of what queries I need to run. The recommendation here would be to drop the wildcard index and add on indexes on the specific fields that I'll need to query. In this case, it's name, age, and birthday. So I'll drop my wildcard index, which just applies uh, a single field index effectively on every property. And now I'll go ahead and create single field indexes specifically for these properties. 
This will optimize my write performance while at the same time ensuring I have good query performance when I need to filter based on the values of these properties. I'll go ahead and apply this change. And now, once this index transformation is complete, I'll have only indexed the necessary properties for my collection. Now, once this change is complete, of course, I'll want to make sure to decrease my amount of provision throughput back down to whatever it was before, in this case, 400 RUs. Increase the amount of throughput during an indexing change, of course, like I mentioned, will speed up the index transformation progress. But in some cases, even when you increase the amount of throughput, an index transformation can take a lot of time. And when the transformation is in progress, you'll see this banner right here. Now, it's really important to note that in Azure Cosmos DB, when you have an indexing transformation, it's always done without downtime. So whether you're developing or in production, you can confidently add and remove properties from your indexing policy, uh, knowing that it doesn't impact your write or read performance. I hope this video was a great introduction to indexing in Azure Cosmos DB's API for MongoDB.